Okay. So, I've never done this before, guys. This is my first time doing this. I'm trying to share the screen. I don't know if it's working or not, but this is what I want to do. I want to uh, do a reaction for the newest episode of Ruby. Uh, I've never done a reaction before, but I've always wanted to. I've always loved Ruby all the way from volume one. The trailers even, uh, volume three was probably my favorite, but I used some self-control today and decided to not just watch it right away as soon as it came out. And I wanted to, uh, you know, do a reaction. So let me put my phone on silent here. And yes, that was the Kingdom Hearts jingle. <laughs> so I've never done this before, Rooster Teeth. If, if I'm not doing something right, you got to let me know. Let's do this. Oh, poor Ruby. She was blaming herself for everything. Okay, let's be real. What Neo did to Ruby was so cool. That was really hard to watch, actually. <laughs> Stuck in a fairy tale. All right. Let's see what happens. And on the wind, Alex heard one more question. What? What? Are you? Oh, well, Summer. We get a good glimpse of her this time. I love you. Mm -hmm. Just the way you are. Always. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm. Is this a summer backstory? It's not like you to rush off on a mission in the middle of the night. You know how Ozpin gets. Mystery after mystery. And when it turns out to be yet another run-of-the-mill patrol, it'll be... I, I always, always prefer, prefer discretion. discretion. <laughs> Aw, tie in summer. I'll be back soon. Aww. I know. Nobody suspects oh, anything. Raven. No. They think it's a typical mission. Summer Rose telling lies. First time for everything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, what about... You're just going to leave them? You're yeah. one to talk. It's... You're better at that life. Better than I was. If I do this right... There's nothing to worry about. Did Raven get Summer killed? Trust me. Let's get it over with, I guess. What? What was that? She... She lied. She left with Raven. Why would she... Who knows why people keep the secrets they do? Ooh. Maybe you're not the only one who has felt the weight of others' expectations. 
True. Like Alex. Like your mother. Oh, they gotta give us more story on that. <gasps> Are you just trying to tell me that it's useless? That I shouldn't even try? Is that the big lesson I'm supposed to learn? Just give up? Become someone else. Is that what I'm telling you? Sean. You never were the hero. Alex. You couldn't save me. Oh, I, poor Jean. Couldn't save a lot of people. Maybe it's time for a change. To be the kind of man you always wanted to be. The leaves! Burn the leaves! <laughs> Taking a page out of the cat. The leaves have no effect on me. Uh, Maybe not. That's not the case for Neo. Oh, that's right. Smart, no. John. He's Smart. Right. He's feeling. I can't. I can't. Oh, Neo's free. Uh, oh crap! I'm berserk. Your time is running out. You must choose. Hmm. Come on, choose Ruby. for yourself one who can leave your burdens behind, or choose one who will be enough to bear them. The cat was lying from the start. Goodness. Can't she just go back to being herself or <gasps> Sean? His aura. I love you. Just the way you are. This one. What happens if I choose me? Yourself. Then maybe that girl is enough. Oh. Yeah. Come on, Ruby. Yay! She's coming back. Iku, yo! Come on, Ruby! Oh, Kanoja Wakimas! She's about to get you! Let's go, Ruby! Ruby! You're, you're you! How? She knew what she needed to be all along. <laughs> Get him, Ruby.
Nice. Get him. She's never been any of those things. That's why we follow her. We're going oh, to Remnant. That's so sweet. And you're staying here. <gasps> oh. oh, he won't ascend because Neo. Oh, Neo. Poor Neo. Ruby, I guess you could forgive her now if you if you wanted to, but I also could understand if you didn't want to. To have what they have. What a thing, huh? I wonder what Neo's backstory is. That's to be pretty dark. Yeah. What is she thinking? So, that's it then? Oh, she's just finally letting yeah, him go. I know. I'm not real. What about her? Oh, oh, she's gonna stay. She'll find herself. One way or another. She went into the tree. Okay, well, that's not a bad of an ending. Poor Neo. Ruby? What's wrong? When I was in the tree, I never saw little. I wish I could say thank you. Do oh. you guys think we might have made things even worse in the ever after? Just like Alex did. I'm not sure. I'd like to think that we did at least a little good. Yeah. Right? A little good, yeah. Wait! There he is! <laughs> oh, he's transformed! Do I know you? Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met yet. Please, what are you? I'm, well, you know, I haven't thought about it yet. You look like you have your wits about you. What do you think I am? Well, uh, Hello. to me, you seem like a friend, a guide, a protector, adorable. <laughs> <laughs> do any of those sound close? Hmm, somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. I'm not any one thing. I'm somewhat of a lot of things. It is a true pleasure to meet you somewhat. It will be my honor to serve you. Mm -hmm. You've already done more for us than you know. He doesn't remember. You do feel familiar. <laughs> like a happy dream I can't remember. I'm so glad we got to meet you. I'm sure you'll help lots of people. But now we have to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. It will be all right, Huntress. Oh. Hey, somewhat. I am at your service. <laughs> will you look after Juniper? She means the world to me. Mm -hmm. I will never leave her side. <laughs> uh -huh. That's that's a very sweet ending.
They're going, they're going back to Remnant. <laughs> or, hopefully they're going back to Remnant. We don't really know yet, do we? I'm glad that Ruby is better. Welcome to my workshop. Um, Ruby, is this the tree? Something like that. I've been waiting a long time for you. Oh, well. I made it. I'm glad you did. Can you answer a question for me? I need to know if it's true what the cat said, that Lewis went back and Alex. Yes, only Lewis returned home. Mm -hmm. The girl who fell through the world is the story as he wished it had happened. Are those? The brothers. Yes. These brothers were the tree's earliest blossoms. The uh, first to inhabit the ever after. What? Remarkable beings. Very ambitious. The tree did not foresee what they would become. Interesting. But that is the joy of creating. The not knowing. Interesting. Back then. The Ever After was overgrown, wild, and dangerous. The brothers were made to help tame it and build the world that was to come after. First, they were given the power to destroy, to clear the wilderness away. Then they were given creativity to imagine what and who could replace the wilderness. The brothers built homes for them and gave them roles to play. If this is what they were supposed to do, how did Remnant come about? Us. The brothers grew curious. Hmm. They wanted to do more. <laughs> huh, it all started in the Ever After. And so, using the skills and tools they had been given. They began to design their own creations the in cat. utmost secrecy. The cat was Soon the first they experiment. they realized their new creation could do their job for them. Finding the broken parts of the ever after. After this success, the brothers designed a second creature to finish what the cat started. It came out brutal and effective. Hmm. One brother believed they had disrupted the balance, while the other refused to condemn their creations for their mistakes. Mm -hmm. But balance is not two forces locked in never-ending battle. Balance is an ecosystem, an organism, a living, breathing thing. Thus, balance cannot be restored with force or calculation. True balance finds its own equilibrium. It only requires love and the patience to see things through to the end. Huh. Interesting. So, how did they get to Remnant? The Ever After could no longer bear the brothers' experiments. Mm. And so, the tree built them a special doorway to a greater beyond, where the brothers could try creating worlds of their own. A doorway that would remain open for the brothers' return, and any of their creations. What truly remarkable things they accomplished whenever the brothers' creations have come to the ever after. The five of you have had a greater impact than you know. 
just like Alex and Lewis did before you, just like others will after you. Mm. One small kindness in one small moment led to such a marvelous transformation. That's so true. Wow. I love that. Much oh. like one act of dishonesty mm. caused an unfortunate change. Yes. Alex broke her promise to the cat. A terrible thing to have a broken heart. Yeah. And there was nobody to send them back to the tree for care. Oh. Well, what will happen to Neil? She will have the chance to return her broken heart. And become something new. Such is balance. That's Alex's knife. Wait, how do you have this? When Alex's life ended, she chose to leave a part of herself behind. A wish to fix what she had broken. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Yay! John! He's back to normal. Hey, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's been so this is what I sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> where will this take us? Not where. where but when. Most. Yeah. Perfect. Back to remnants. Thank you. Aww. So the tree isn't the tree isn't bad at all then, obviously. All right, we're in vacuo. We get to see Sun's homeland. I guess that was the final season or final episode of the season. Wow. Oh man, I love that part at the end. One small act of honesty, one small act of kindness, it can change everything. As well as one small amount of dishonesty, it can destroy something good in a matter of seconds so huh so the ever after really wasn't as bad as the cat made it seem the ever after wasn't as bad as john thought it was actually so interesting the global felt of the world and then the two brothers, supposedly, they started in the Ever After. That's so cool. Because now, see, now I want to go back and listen to all of the stories and go back to the episode of the two brothers when they used the lamp to ask Ospin what he was hiding. I feel like I need to rewatch that now. So, um. That I'm queen of a castle that's tumbling mm. around my feet and in my heart it's there standing tall enough to fix it all it's just a new beginning it's just a different ending it's just, it's just uh, I'm I'm feeling this song. I'm definitely gonna learn how to play this one.
Hmm. So, well, now that Ruby knows, the tree showed Ruby that the raven had something to do with her mom disappearing. So, I would think that Ruby is, after they get everything figured out, she's also going to interrogate Ian's mother also. So, um, interesting. See, Raven left that part out. She didn't mention that the last time that she saw Summer was when she was with her. And in volume six, she even told let Yang think that Summer was foolish in some sense. I don't know the entire story, but in that instance, it looks like Summer went missing after she tried to do something with Raven. So maybe Raven's plan failed. If that's the case, the then Grim Summer's in the not. Forest. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, yeah, I want to see this. We fought monsters before. Grim, those soulless creatures with only one purpose. To destroy humanity. Leadership isn't about your age. It's about your heart. Mark is right. I'd follow you into any battle. We're stronger together. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Definitely want to see that. So, okay. Well, I, that was it. Um, that was, wow. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad I got a chance to do a reaction. And um, maybe next season I'll do more reactions, maybe. We'll see. But um, that was very interesting. So I've never done this kind of reaction before. So I don't know if the video is going to show or if only the audio is going to show. But I'm definitely going to post this. So um, if you haven't seen Ruby, go back to the trailers. Watch all the trailers and dodge, dodge the spoilers because there's a lot of them. So start at the very beginning. Uh, thanks for watching. And... Uh, Rooster Teeth, I hope that was okay. This is my first time doing something like this. And um, I actually don't know if it's actually going to show the video or not. So if it doesn't, then it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah, so that's it for this one. And thanks for watching. And uh, looking forward to volume 10 now that everyone is back in vacuo. So see ya.